As a cable management aficionado, Gigabyte and Main Gear may have just turned things on its head. Let's see what I'm talking about right here on Robitech. Aorus slash Gigabyte and Main Gear just announced Project Stealth. It's a combined partnership of specific components from Aorus and Gigabyte, plus an ability to buy in a completed system via Main Gear. And what are we talking about? We're talking about taking what is essentially one of the hardest things that people do from making PCs, etc., and that's making all those cables look really good. Jay, Bitwit, um, and so many people have made a whole living off of just judging people's systems, and then we've seen those nightmare memes of just con of cables everywhere. Well, Main Gear and uh, Gigabyte specifically decided, you know what, let's turn it on its head and make it so we can make zero cables visible whatsoever. So we're looking at Project Stealth and there's three places that you can kind of check this thing out. First and foremost, you have Main Gear's site, um, which we've linked down below. Uh, and this is talking about their Stealth Gaming desktop, which is using these components and you can just buy these pre-configured from Main Gear, which I feels like they've had a lot of uh, input into making this system the way that it is. Uh, and then you've got the Stealth site, which is just about the components specifically that are over on Oris's site. Um, and then lastly, you've actually got a link down to the new PC world where they're actually walking through with the folks at Gigabyte uh, and from Main Gear talking about the design and what there is. And you can actually see them with a mostly put together system, mainly uh, GPU, uh, motherboard, and case, and, and how the whole thing works together. Instead of a standard motherboard where all of the, uh, either the connections are on the front or on the side, like an EVGA Z690, what they've done is they've moved everything to the back. And you know, it, there is some, obviously some work uh, that's gonna have to happen here uh, via the case, et cetera, to make sure that this is something that can work moving forward. And then lastly, they did the exact same thing on the GPU. So now the, the four pin and the three pin is actually on the back of the card. Uh, so when you plug the whole thing in, which I'm looking on the Project Stealth right now, you can see there are zero cables visible with all of the parts plugged in. Now, uh, you do have the option, like I said, of actually either purchasing the parts separately and building out this system yourself, which I mean, again, then that means that you can, uh, the, the case itself, you can do a 360 millimeter AIO, 240 millimeter AIO, uh, you, could, you could do air cooling. Uh, so there is some opportunity to create some uniqueness. The one thing that we don't know is that if you were to take this and like, say for instance, put this in like uh, a different case, like a fractal torn or whatever it was, how much problems you would have, because that's just stuff that we're not gonna be able to experiment until we actually have the components here, which Gigabyte and Main Gear have both said, we're gonna be able to take a look at a full Main Gear system as well as is Gigabyte letting us take a look at the actual uh, components itself. If you were to purchase this from Main Gear, um, you actually have a myriad of options. So Main Gear, here we are in Main Gear's site. It talks about the different, the chassis, the C300G, uh, the motherboard is a Z690 Aorus Elite. So obviously this is Intel only. I'm guessing that we'll see an X670 AMD version of this. Would not, it doesn't make sense to do 5000 series, but with 6000 series, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a, a, a board coming out from that either. This is the part that's most surprising is that it looks like it's an Eagle, sta standard Eagle type 3000 series. I'm surprised there's only a 3070. It would be nice to see a 3080, um, but right now the only option from a GPU standpoint is a 37. That means that you could do a 12400F, 12600K, 12700K, 12900K, or even a 12900KS. You obviously have the option on the side of getting 32 gigs or up to 64 gigs of DDR4. It looks like there's two uh, NVMe slots that they're gonna, they're allowing you to use. Uh, optical drive and the least powerful PSU that they're giving you is a 750 watt EVGA Supernova, and then you can do up to a 1200 watt uh, either EVGA Supernova or the main gear only ignition stuff. And then their 240 millimeter, 360 millimeter AIO, and then your air cooler, they're up operating a Hyper 212. Definitely doesn't seem like a good air cooling build, but if you were going to do like a 12400F, which I mean, you can cool that thing with like your, your, your breath, uh, you might be absolutely fine. Okay, so you might be asking, Ruby, well, when is it gonna be available? And that's a great question. And luckily we got to hear back from Gigabyte so you'll be able to buy the case, motherboard, and the GPU as a combo for $11.99 sometime around the end of June. So that'll be available. In terms of main gear, I'm assuming the system will be available around the exact same time. Obviously, price is going to be dependent on how you configure it. In main gear, you've got a lot of options. We talked a little bit about that. Just talking a little bit about thermals, it has a very similar design uh, to the XPG 
uh, cruiser in terms of how the airflow and stuff works. Worst case, we were looking at CPU temps at 81 under load and GPU temps at 82 under load. So again, if I was gonna configure one of these systems myself, that just might be something to consider if you're looking at this and wanting to plan a build around this, 12700K I think would be about the top end. So gaming performance for Cyberpunk 2077 uh, at Ultra 1440p. This means uh, this is uh, DLSS set to quality, looking at about 60 frames per second or 58.33. Uh, for Shadow of the Tomb Raider, it's just a great benchmark, 204, 208 frames per second. Uh, if you're wanting to do Metro Exodus, you're looking at 72 uh, frames per second. Uh, Dirt 5, 106. And then you got Borderlands 3 at 81.69. Well, what about multiplayer, Roby? Well, multiplayer, uh, looking 1440p, low visual settings. This means that everything is set for competitive, obviously getting the fastest potential frame rate, uh, 253.6 frames per second. For Call of Duty, you're looking at 205.1 frames per second. And then finally for Fortnite, uh, 408.5 frames per second. And that again, that's a 12700K with a 3070. That should be an approximation of what kind of uh, power you can expect. Project Stealth, a PC that when you're done looks really good, looks like it has zero cables. It's not about what I think, it's about what you think. What do you guys think of Project Stealth? Well, tell us and maybe win a little cash in the process. Uh, first and foremost, you just need to leave a quality comment down below along with liking and subscribing to the channel. Now, when I say quality comment, it doesn't need to be positive. It just needs to be something you liked or didn't like about the video, what surprised you, et cetera, about uh, Project Stealth or the video in general. Uh, just not, I deserve to win. When you get this, this uh, PC, Roby, can you send it to me? Or something else similarly weird or lame. Uh, you also need to ensure we have a way to reach you via your YouTube profile, like your email. So put your email in there, in your YouTube profile, because we will be giving away and notifying somebody via email uh, $25 to one lucky comment below. It's worldwide as long as you can accept PayPal or Venmo. So what did you think about Project Stealth? Do you want to see more like this? Do you feel like this is an industry changer uh, with uh, taking away cables all up? Um, it, or is this something, a build that you might plan on using? I'd love to know all of that down in the comments below. Now, while you're down there, make sure you slap that subscribe button, whip that like button, and ring that notification bell so you get a notification each and every time uh, we post a new video. Also, did you know that we have a live stream channel as well? And more than likely, we will be building this PC on that live stream channel. So check it out down below, Roby Tech Live down in the description and make sure you like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can notified when we go live over there as well. Now, do you have questions about the stealth or do you wanna discuss uh, the stealth with other like-minded individuals, then check out our amazing Discord server filled with other tech and PC enthusiasts that love to share their thoughts and ideas on these very subjects. If you're looking for cheap tech or want to know more about our giveaways or anything like that, check out at robytech.com or at robytechdeals.com on Twitter, where we have our guy Tom scouring the internet for both the best deals, always updating the site, and these are the best deals on things like tech, PC components, TVs, games, etc. And then finally, you can follow me and my team on all the other socials at Robitech absolutely everywhere. We hope you enjoy this video and we look forward to seeing you on the next one.